What's up, guys? I am making the brine for the turkey legs. You see, I got like just, you know, basic ingredients. Get the bay leaves going. And see the water. Right now, it's not boiling or anything. I'm gonna get the seasoning in there and tell you guys what I'm actually doing. So, I've done a brine before, but this is different. Now, see, I'm using some meat seasoned tenderizer. I saw someone else do it, and the idea was pretty good because it's like, look, the brine is going to sit on the turkey all night. So, like, a meat tenderizer is going to do something. Now, I'm kind of irritated because my freaking phone had too much video and did not get me completely showing you the whole entire thing I did for Brian. So I'm going to end up putting the ingredients in the description. So anyway, moving on. Here is the star of the show. The turkey legs. Ooh. I actually got on Instacart and got these ordered. I'm not sure, but a little while ago. Got them from an old good uh, grocery store because they didn't have any anywhere. Okay, I want to get turkey wings, but couldn't get that. So anyway, uh, you got to make sure that you wash. They always say that, and I, I know if I'm working in... They do wash. They come clean. But I always clean mine. Usually twice. I just completely wash them. I turn them over. Um, treat them like, look. <laughs> Every piece. Make sure it's cold water. My mother has always, always taught me when you are dealing with poultry or anything, make sure that water is cold. So, okay. We got the turkey legs together. They clean. Ready to go. It's time. It's time to, you know check on the brine now mind you make sure the brine is cold okay sometimes if you have to sit it overnight but if you do not have the type of time and you want to really get it done ice is really your friend ice 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 let it sit let it sit also if you didn't see me i didn't mean to tell you i put a cinnamon stick also i saw that on a video and i was like you know i'm gonna try that cinnamon stick yes something different but i'll put the ingredients uh, in the description box uh, for the brine. So, I'm always struggling, I swear. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm just going to put a few in here and then pour the brine. Because I knew it's going to be distributed as it sits in the Ziploc. And look, this Ziploc is pretty tight. I was like, it is a force. When I closed it, I was like, okay, it's good. And I was like, oh, look how many drumsticks do I have left? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's Ziploc. Look at it. That is the GV one. Okay. So, now it's time to get my other one together. I'm like, they are going to love this. Because the seasoning that I was putting in there is going to, it's all in the brine. The brine sat for hours. So, all that seasoning, everything. And as I was listening to other different chefs and different people speak about it, how the salt, because I did put... I'm gonna, I keep telling you the green, but I'm going to put it in the... the uh, I use the, the pink salt, obviously, Himalaya, and then some salt as well. But make it to a point where it accepts all the juices. Look at that. See the bay leaf in there? Mm. Accept all the juices. Accept all the seasoning and hold it. See, I see them stick the bottom of that. I know you saw it. Mm. Yeah. So, yes. What I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. I'm going to look, I'm going to get every little bit, every little bit, but it's brine. This is going to sit in the refrigerator and then we're going to come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and I'm going to show you guys once I get it out, the seasoning I'm going to do and put it on the grill. I'm just showing you guys, this is my version of brine. You guys have a happy, happy holidays.